what we were saying to our friends on the Republican side of the aisle, for goodness sakes, to end a deficit, you cut spending, right? Right. But to end a deficit, you also cut wasteful tax subsidies. We've got to cut the tax break earmarks. Those tax break earmarks that have gone to the well connected, but who are disconnected from how we can help our economy grow. The other side's leader, the senator from Kentucky, has drawn a line in the sand against including any and all revenue changes in the debt deal. One such unjustifiable tax giveaway, a tax break for private jets, for the use of CEOs and other top corporate executives that has no public policy benefit whatsoever. We shouldn't be subsidizing high flyers in America when the Republican budget is calling for us to end Medicare as we know it. Believe it or not, Uncle Sam subsidizes the purchase of sprawling, luxurious 72-foot Viking yachts. For goodness sakes, if we can't float the boat of middle America, help working families across this country survive, why in the world are we giving a tax subsidy to yacht owners? There must be no sacred cows and there must be no sacred horses. One of the tax programs that my colleagues across the aisle are insisting be walled off from examination is a special write-off for thoroughbred racehorses. I love horses. I like going to racetracks. But to think we're going to subsidize them at the expense of Medicaid recipients, the poorest children in America, it makes no sense. And there's one other provision in the tax code that I really find troubling. Mr. President, we literally subsidize American companies that want to ship jobs overseas. I ask my friends on the Republican side of the aisle, do you want to stand for the subsidies that ship American jobs overseas, or do you want to stand by American workers and patriotic American companies that want to stay right here at home and create jobs? Those are the choices. It is simply unconscionable for them to talk about cutting education and research and health programs while they are fighting on the floor to protect at all costs special interest tax subsidies that are on the books. Republicans must not put the economy of this country and the world at risk for the sake of protecting special interests and the big donors.